SMT Nation, we back. We have the T-Mobile internal numbers on their home internet. This is really exciting. The reason I'm excited about this and why I wanted to do a dedicated video for it is because I have been a huge advocate and supporter of T-Mobile's network improvements, gains, capacity build, you know, expanding in rural. But I think the most important thing for T-Mobile and kind of like the future revenues of the business, in order for them to make a better network, they have to make more money. One of those places where they want to grow is home internet. So this report that's enclosed in this article gives us a lot of huge internal kind of numbers that they've been seeing. And it's really going to poo-poo on cable. I love it. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's take a look here. I'm going to link this for you guys. It'll be in the description. All right. So T-Mobile will release the report and it will answer some of the questions about their fixed wireless access home internet service, which has been an absolute smash with cable customers. People are leaving cable for T-Mobile for a number of reasons. We'll see what those reasons are and the percentages of how big of an impact each of those categories has. Now, within the report, we don't see a lot of Verizon uh, disrespect, which we typically see. And the reason for that is, is because Verizon and T-Mobile are doing the same thing. They're fighting cable with their 5G home internet. So the report here uh, indicates that the combined T-Mobile and Verizon efforts for fixed wireless access, they're shooting for 11 to 13 million subscribers by the end of 2025. And I think they're going to do it. I don't think it's going to really be that tough for them to do. All right, Verizon shooting for four to five million in that time frame, and then T-Mobile shooting for seven to eight million. I think they actually exceed that. I think Verizon goes a little beyond five million, and then I think T-Mobile probably hits nine million pretty easily. Anyways, um, they already have two million customers at T-Mobile, so they're well on their way. All right, so here is why customers are picking fixed wireless access, T-Mobile home internet over cable. All right, the first thing is lower price. Folks, the average cost for home internet through cable, typically we're seeing costs between $60 and $80. And that's on promotion sometimes. That's not even the regular you know, price, the everyday price. Sometimes their everyday price is over $90 or $100. Right, That's what cable does, where they have their monopolies where there's no other providers, no other competition. They really do gouge the pricing. All right. So 58%, that's going to take the cake, right? That's the the big reason it's pricing. Price sensitivity in the market, it's always going to be number one. All right. Behind it, about 17% here at 41% is no annual contract obligation. See, the thing about those cable operators is they lock you in, right? And then there's like cancellation fees and early term fees, T-Mobile is not forcing that on you. Next, we have new home internet option available. Basically, they were just looking for anything of a competitor. All right, so that's uh, 32%. And then faster speeds, 27%. That one is a little bit touchy because that's not always going to be the case. Usually, cable is probably going to be faster, right? Usually, consistently at least, right? Fixed wireless access is a cellular network. When we're talking about Verizon, and T-Mobile, especially T-Mobile, which deprioritizes home internet traffic, it's very variable. All right. So that one, I don't know if the consumer is very informed about this one. And lastly, to bundle home internet, that's really not something that's important to customers. They'll shop. They don't care about bundles. The only way they like bundles is if it saves them money. That's it. All right. Now it says here, 93% of T-Mobile home internet customers are on postpaid accounts. 7% are on prepaid. So, you know, that's an important factor. There is a connection there. Additionally, more than half of T-Mobile's fixed wireless access customers are coming from cable. The breakdown is 49% from other, which includes satellite and DSL, or areas with no provider, <laughs> and 51% from cable. So that's a crazy big number. All right, so how much data are people using? This was a huge concern by people, myself included. Heavy data usage on a cellular network spells trouble for the mobile network user, right? Are we going to see networks that are going to start to get choked down and start to kind of degrade in quality and performance because home internet users are starting to use it a lot? But it says here, and the timing is important, uh, the most active users are in the evening between 6 p.m. and 12 a.m. 
which is, if you guys know, that's not when the mobile users are active, right? Peak usage for the home internet is at 9 p.m. Average monthly usage is over, just over 450 gigs. That's a lot of data, folks. But that's the typical home internet user across the country, just over 330 gigs on the median. All right, so there's your your diagrams there. Um, we kind of knew this. Now, here's the outliers, right? People less than 100 gigs, 23%. That's really low. That's the low uh, non-power user. Here's your power user. 11% are using over one tera. That is crazy usage on a cellular network. Uh, additional stuff here. Let's see if we can scroll down. Usage by activity. This is interesting. Social networking. Uh, Facebook, 88%. Instagram, 71%. TikTok, 70%. Twitter, 57%. Snapchat, looks like 55%. All right, so there's some stuff there. YouTube, 91% of the streaming. Uh, Netflix, 79%. Amazon Prime, 62%. Hulu, Disney, and then HBO Max. Xbox is the main gamer. Uh, PlayStation, next at 17%. Xbox, 24%. Call of Duty, the most uh, played game. Interesting stuff here, all right, telling us what people do. No surprises, though. Uh, what about the capacity here? Verizon says, oh, well, T-Mobile and Verizon Always asked about if the networks can handle it. Both of them say they don't expect it to be an issue for a while. All right, we shall see how that plays out. Demand has really blown us away. We're continuing to evolve, increase the capacity to keep its sophisticated eligibility model up to date. They're not worried, folks. They aren't worried at all <laughs> about the capacity concerns. They say they can meet the demand. Okay, all right. Now, starting December 8th, and we covered a video on this yesterday, T-Mobile has this deal. It's a limited time offer, so it's going to be time restricted, probably for like the next month. Sign up for the T-Mobile home internet service. You can get it for $25 a month for life, as long as you have one or more voice lines. T-Mobile will also cover up to $750 bucks in early termination fees to break you up with your current provider, whether it's cable, fiber, or whomever, DSL. They'll do it for you. What do you guys think? We learned a lot about the T-Mobile home internet. I just want to say this, though. T-Mobile did all that research. They probably hired or, or assigned people within the company to do all this you know, data collection. Big shout out to Roger at Recon Analytics. They probably just could have hired him. He would have had the numbers for them. We've known about these things for eons. Big shout out to Roger, Recon Analytics. He is the GOAT. They are the GOATs, the fine folks there at Recon. <laughs> Uh, T-Mobile wasting their time. They had somebody who could have hooked it up. Anyways, big shout out to them. And uh, what do you guys think of this? Comment down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description for all things going on with the channel. Big shout out to my YouTube members as well, my Patreon supporters. You guys are the goats. Thank you so much for all that you do. Words of positivity as we leave the video. Every new day is an opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.